Welcome back to my channel, Iraqi Dinar. Today, we have some exciting updates regarding the Iraqi Dinar and the Vietnamese Dong. Let's dive right into the latest intelligence. Intel guru Frank26 recently shared an update from Firefly, highlighting significant developments initiated by Prime Minister Mohammad Shil Sudani in collaboration with the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI. Notably, there has been the opening of cash deposit centers across Iraq. These centers are a pivotal step in the process of collecting and removing the zero denomination notes from circulation. This move provides citizens with a dedicated venue to exchange their currency while avoiding the overcrowding typically seen in regular banks. Frank 26 emphasized that these currency centers have been licensed by the CBI, the Sudani government and the U.S. Treasury over the past few weeks. This acceleration in monetary reform indicates that Iraqi citizens will soon benefit from these financial changes. In a different vein, Intel Guru W, as reported by Judy Byington, voiced optimism about the coming week, stating that his sources were confident everything would proceed favorably. He expressed a strong belief that the green light has been given for these financial reforms and that events are already in motion. Sandy Ingram provided a thought-provoking analysis of Iraq's cost of living. She noted that the average monthly cost for one individual stands at about $754, which includes rent. Ingram argued that once Iraq establishes a safe foreign environment, the influx of travelers could see them spending up to $22,000 per month, significantly bolstering the nation's economy. She drew a parallel with Mexico's success in tourism-driven GDP growth, suggesting that Iraq has the potential for similar economic expansion. Guru Brittling offered his insights by clarifying a critical distinction regarding the current situation with the Iraqi dinar. He emphasized that the discussion surrounding the dinar is more about speculation than traditional investment. While he previously may have misused the term investment, he now recognizes the nuances of speculation as a different and riskier endeavor. Continuing with the developments in Iraq, Frank 26 mentioned the updates on Article 140, which pertains to the census conducted years ago and is now being updated. This updated census is deemed crucial for the future introduction of a new exchange rate for the Iraqi dinar, which could vastly affect the country's economic land escape. Furthermore, Prime Minister Sudani chaired a significant meeting focused on reforming the banking sector, particularly Rafit Bank. Representatives from Ernst Young presented their recommendations on modernizing the bank's legal status, capital structure and overall strategy to align with global banking standards. These proposals are set to be presented to the Ministerial Council for Economy and ultimately require approval from the Council of Ministers. Sudani stressed that restructuring Rafat Bank is a cornerstone of the government's broader efforts to reform Iraq's banking system and regain trust from local and foreign investors. At the recent investment forum held on October 15 in Babylon, Dr. Ha Mohammed, head of Iraq's National Investment Commission, NIC, highlighted the importance of creating tailored investment maps for each province to address local needs effectively. Over the past 18 months, Iraq has granted more than $69 billion in investment licenses, with innovative projects being exempted from competitive bidding to promote creativity and fairness in competition. Dr. Ha emphasized Iraq's improved investment climate, partly due to its succession to international conventions that offer legal guarantees for foreign investors. The forum showcased an impressive 55 investment opportunities in various sectors, including commerce, housing, agriculture, and tourism. Governor Adnan Ali of Babylon pledged full support for projects aimed at improving infrastructure and fostering economic growth. Capitalizing on Babylon's strategic location along the Euphrates River. In the financial markets, the exchange rates of the US dollar against the Iraqi dinar have shown a decline in both Baghdad and Erbil. 
A survey by Shack News Agency revealed that the Al Ifa and Al Hara Central Exchanges in Baghdad registered a rate of 2,500 IQD per $100 a drop from 12,900 IQD earlier in the day. In local exchange shops in Baghdad, the selling price reached 53,500 IQD per $100, with a buying rate of 51,000 IQD. In Herbal, the selling price stood at 52,000 IQD per $100, while the buying price was recorded at 12,600 IQD. That wraps up today's update on the Iraqi dinar and the developments impacting its future. Stay tuned for more news and insights on this topic.